then that is how we can tell that a leopard was here where i am standing right now so cool to think about it hey, there are birds inside in this vlog we are going to take you to a journey through the dense forest of wai show you all the cool animals we find as well as take you on an adventure with us talk to the locals and understand their perspective on conservation and finally in the end show you the process of camera trapping as well as some of the amazing camera trap images from this project so make sure you experience the full wildlife package by staying here till the end this is the area where the wildlife research team of the policy advocacy research center has been studying animal movement this study is also supported by the habitat trust we set out on a journey to find the hidden secrets of the jungle but before that some refueling <laughs> First we found this velvet mite which is quite beautiful and quite commonly found in and around rural areas. This is also not an insect but an arachnid like spiders and scorpions. So where are we headed to right now? So we are headed to Jamri Conservation Reserve. There is a good population like if we talk about animals we have a very good population of bears in this region. Oh. Along with we have a very good sightings of leopards as well. Oh my god wow so <laughs> are we are we expecting to see any of these guys should we be worried? Yeah, well, I I think we are getting to see a bear. We should be a little worried, but <laughs> leopards would really uh, you know make it a day. Wow! Yes, and this view is so beautiful of this place. Western Ghats, uh, the Satara side, like towards the plateau side of the Western Ghats. Oh wow! So if you go beyond this, like if you climb, there is this uh, point uh, in that direction that is called as Kokan Kada. Okay. So if you look, uh, you know, you know, you will get to see. the konkan region from like this is the very end point of uh, this particular range so if you stand on konkan kada you basically get to see the entire konkan region wow so right now we are in the forest of wai it is near mahableshwar and this forest is beautiful look around we got to exchange cameras the old one and the new one the memory card the entire camera lot of wildlife here surprisingly human dominated area lot of people here as well so these places are usually overlooked they are not given as much importance as much as some other you know like like a national park or a sanctuary but these places a majority of the forest is in, is in these places and some data shows that 35% of tigers live out of protected areas i think it's important that we conserve these areas as well so here we are at the entrance of the jambli conservation reserve This is one of the areas where the policy advocacy research center have been studying animal movement and the forest here is quite interesting. Let me show it to you. The spot this is a water hole that the forest department has made for the animals in the area so like i said uh, they are trying to develop this particular place or this particular trail if you like point uh, right there they are trying to develop a trail which will be like a nature walk Uh, they are in, it is in process currently and this is one of the water holes that they have made for the animals to have good supply and maybe you know increase sighting or there will be more movement of animals in this area oh yeah this is slippery so guys we are going to talk to rao kaka who is a local here and has grown up in this area तर राव काका तुम्ही लहानपणी पासून आहे इकडे हो तुम्हाला हा जंगलामध्ये काय काय दिसलं हा सुरुवातीला बिबट्या हा लेपर्ड्स नंतर असवल नंतर खवला मांजर खवला मांजर या एरियामध्ये हा या एरियामध्ये सो खवला मांजर इज अ मराठी नेम फॉर पँगोलिंग अँड व्हेरी हार्ड टू फाइंड पिसुरी पुन्हा सांबर आणि रानडुकर अच्छा आणि गवळे आम्हाला दाखवा आज पण ते आज तेवढी साईट आपल्याला कराय का होईल का असं ना असे बाकी या पशु पक्षी प्राणी हे भरपूर आहेत त्याचे काय प्रश्नच नाही चौदा गावांशी संपर्क करून गैर म्हणजे लोकांना थोडा वेगळा विषय होता इशू की आमची जमीन जुमला जाईल असणारी तर हे रिझर्व कंजेक्शन झालं किंवा अभयारण्य झालं तर आमचं स्थलांतर होईल का काय होईल ह्या हिशोबानं ना थोडा इशू पुन्हा झाला की त्यानंतर लोकांनी विषयच पलटी खाल्लं की आम्हाला ते करून द्यायचंच नाही करायचं नाही मग त्यातून एक साहेब मोहन खात्याचा होता त्यानं त्यात लक्ष घातलं आणि त्यानं मग एक ट्रीप काढली आणि ती ट्रीप नाशिकला नेली जिथं वन्यप्राण्यांचा संगोपन कसं करतात स्थानिक लोक किंवा काय अशा ठिकाणी चौदा गावांची लोक दोन दोन तिथं त्याने आश्वासन दिलं आता रिझर्व कंजेक्शन होऊन तीन ते चार पाच वर्ष झाली मला लागते बाकी लोकांना भीती वाटत नाही का कशी बिबट्या 
वाटतेत ना स्थानिकांना पण त्यांना एक सुरुवातीपासून हितच राहिल्यामुळं त्यांना माहिती की हा प्राणी आपल्यावर अटॅक करत नाही किंवा काही नाही अटॅक म्हणजे असं मनुष्य झालेलं नाही गाय बैल असे म्हणजे बिबट्या न करू किंवा सोली न करू पण अटॅक भरपूर झालेला आहे Look guys, we found a leech in this forest. It Do you all remember the leech that Kaden spoke about last year? These blood sucky things. And look at the way it's trying to find and latch on to me. Like look look at that. Take it fast. Look at this. This is a forest hide. There's an open space over there. So from there you can look at that watering hole, वहाँ पे, and you can sit quietly and monitor all the animals that come and visit over there. Let's go inside and see what this looks like. उग्रू का? There are birds inside. Look at this. Inside the jungle, we have found this massive huntsman spider. This guy is, is almost as big, not as big as my palm, but pretty big actually. Big. Notice how the forest keeps getting denser as the video progresses. Honestly, walking on these trails deep inside the forest where no one ventures is an adventure in itself. A little ahead, we found this Dobson's burrowing frog. People generally think these guys are toads because of their stocky builds, but no, they're frogs. Ah, that day, you are not seeing it. That day, you are not seeing it. So, just like that, we are going to see it. 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 तो आता एक महिन्यापूर्वी ह्याच गावातला व्यक्तीला घेऊन आलो इकडे आलो तर वरनं आवाज दिला मोठा आवाज दिला एकदा एकदाच जबरदस्त आवाज आला की गावात लोकांनी ऐकलं तिकडे रिमेंबर हाव आय टोल्ड यू द फॉरेस्ट इज गोइंग टू गेट डेन्स Look around it has already gotten denser and it is going to get way more dense. We found a fig. We will see if we find wasps inside them. We opened it. And Look at this. Sevetka cat. These cats and scrapes and all of these are tell tale signs that an animal lives here these are like indirect presence of an animal we can get to know in a particular forest through all of these things the forest was absolutely beautiful and look how clear the water is when no one is around to dirty it जागा आहे ना आज शिरायसाठी म्हणते ते आतमध्ये ना हे देखील कितना लांब लांब होत आहे इधर 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 चावलं ना की लगेच दोन मिनिट हेच नाही त्याला काही नाही फक्त रक्त शुद्ध होत हा बाकी काही नाही Look how dense the forest has gotten and look at that looks like rao kaka has found something really interesting okay so i found something really cool come with me if you can see this these lines these are scrape marks by a leopard and a lot of big cats leopards you know sloth bears they do these marks and that is how we can tell that a leopard was here where i am standing right now so cool to think about it let's go this is itna hi tha before 
So, has done this? Could be. Maybe. 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 यहाँ पे a lot of lepers and bears come here for drinking water during the summer. So summer के time these people what these people do is every five seven days they clean this place. अभी वो बारिश हुआ है दस पंद्रह दिन तो nobody has ventured into this place. Yeah and looks like this plant likes me and doesn't want to let me go. Sorry buddy. I think this must have damaged my jeans a little. Luckily it wasn't my skin. Finally, here we are, ready to set the camera traps. Here it is just taking out the equipment that we are going to use. And also setting up a camera trap is a relatively easy task. If not done well, we might miss out on a lot of crucial data. So we've deployed this camera around 10 to 12 days back. We are just here today to change the memory cards and we'll go back and see what we've found in this. So this is our camera, so this is a cutback IR camera, so this has infrared red flash, the main purpose is to, so it doesn't uh, you know give, a, give out a white flash like normal camera so that the animals don't get disturbed, so we can subtly capture these animals, uh, although few animals can see the red light that blinks but it is not visible to the human eye, there is a small insect stuck here. Oh, SD card is full. Let's hope we've got good data. and then leave. I'm just going to leave it here for some time. This, this is very important. <laughs> so the purpose of like if you can see, we've placed this camera on two sides of the trail, right? So many a times what uh, this does is basically at times we get captures of a leopard for example. And if we were to identify a leopard, so we'll need a picture of both of its sides or both of its flanks. So that is why we deploy cameras on both sides in case if we were to uh, ID a certain leopard from anywhere, for example, it would be helpful. Okay, it's, this has not taken a lot of data. Let's see. deploy the third camera that we have to and then we'll arm all of these and then we just hold this end niche lagayenge ni height pe so aa jayega we'll do something ulta ho gaya not hope it's placed properly ho gaya ho gaya ho gaya nice it's nice and tight just let me check the angle tested इसलिए मैंने किया नहीं है। अगर करना ही है तो कैसे करेंगे? Can do all that. And here Sandra is walking like a bear in front of the camera to test if it works or not. नहीं वो। See you. See you. 
Eh, gira. <laughs> I'm gonna play with it now. Oh, big and fat it is, see? Yeah, that's what. Right. Take off or one karu? You move too far. You guys come back. And here we are refueling ourselves after a very very long and tiring walk in the forest. And the delicacy we are having here is the karwanda. Foraging behavior in apes. What? Take it. I'll take. After the data is acquired, the team processes and analyzes the information we have gotten from the camera trap. And here are some of the amazing images from this project. The very elusive and the world's smallest cat, the rusty spotted cat. Another elusive animal that is quite common but yet actively avoids humans, the barking deer. Then we found this ruddy mongoose, the scary daunting presence of the sloth bear. Found this massive muscular gore. Another small nocturnal mammal, the small Indian civet. Here is another barking deer. Then we found this porcupine which was quite an interesting sighting. Another very interesting sighting was this dhol. Another gore in the dark of the night, followed by a sambar. And finally, the ghost of the night, this massive leopard. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey to camera trap these animals. Hopefully, this data will help mitigate human wildlife conflict in the future.